In this story, we find our legend Shazam feeling deficient and vulnerable in Philadelphia. He and his individual superheroes are known as the Philadelphia Disasters because of their standing of, in some cases, aggravating circumstances. In the meantime, the girls of Mapbook, Hespera, and Calypso take the wrecked staff of the Gathering of Wizards in plain view in a gallery in Greece as a verifiable relic. They intend to compel the wizard who gave Shazam his powers to fix the staff by approaching the name of the hero. In the Stone of Forever, Billy assembles a conference to examine the day's occasions with his cultivate kin. Individually, they leave to go to individual tasks, leaving Mary, who selected not to attend a university to continue to accomplish legend work. Billy is pained that his kin appear to be floating separated. Yet Mary realizes that he is stressed over maturing out of the cultivate framework and being deserted. She lets him know that he is hanging on too firmly, and it is just driving them away. Freddy is as yet being harassed by the Briar siblings and meets another young lady named Anne, who he attempts to secure. They bond over having bossy kin. However, Billy hinders and requests to converse with Freddy. He educates him regarding the wizard's admonition and the little girls of Map Book coming for them. In the sanctuary, Mary, Pedro, Eugene, and Darla go to Billy's summons, yet Freddy doesn't appear. They examine the girls of Athena and quest for data about them. They understand that Chart Book had three little girls, not two. And one of them, Anthea, has camouflaged herself as Anne to draw near to Freddy. Anthea uncovers herself, and the sisters assault the Shazamily. Hespera destroys Freddy with the wizard's staff, taking his power and changing him back to his young self. Anthea utilizes her powers to rework reality, keeping Billy from drawing near. The others show up on the scene, and Hespera undermines Freddy. This story demonstrates the way that even legends can feel deficient and question their value. It likewise features the significance of correspondence and confiding in the obligations of family. Notwithstanding their disparities and individual battles, the Shazamily meets up to confront their new foes, the girls of Chart Book. As the story proceeds, We will perceive the way they beat this most recent test, and whether they can re-establish the wrecked staff to shield Earth from the domain of the divine beings. And that's a wrap for our review of Shazam: Fury of the Gods. This film is an exciting blend of action, adventure, comedy, crime, fantasy, and thriller genres that promises to leave you on the edge of your seat. With its talented cast. Stunning visuals and pulse-pounding action. This sequel is a must-watch for all fans of superhero films. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you grab your popcorn and head to the theaters for an unforgettable cinematic experience. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for more movie reviews and recaps on this channel.